Okay, we're going to do a quick rundown of how to download, install, and run free show for your Sunday lyrics and sermon scriptures. Go to freeshow.app and download the version that's applicable. I'm running a MacBook currently, so it's got versions for MacBook, Windows, and Linux. Just download it, install it, and then when you open it up, this is the home screen. Now, I'll just quickly start from scratch. There is, a, you can have folders. Now, I, I've just kept it simple. I've created one folder for Sundays. And a project would be like the service. So let's say that's the AM service. So now we can go uh, 26 Jan 25, 2025 AM. Okay. Now you've got your morning service project and then to add a lyric you will see here at the bottom it's got shows now remember shows is maybe easiest to remember as lyrics although shows can also be videos so all the ones that you've added previously will be listed here and you can simply drag it across so let's say I want to drag that one across if it's not listed it's one you you don't have yet you can just go new show and then you can what i've seen is best is to put the title dash artist for and then make sure the category is songs and then you do a web search and most times it will find it some of the crc songs i see it's not finding click on it it will have all the lyrics here. You can quickly go through it here and decide if you want to make any changes. Like if you want to do that, I will in the same line. You can make the changes here already. It's the easiest to do it here already, but you can obviously also edit it afterwards. And then other options, what I've done is I've set two lines per slide. That's also something you can decide if you want to make more. And then we're going to say new show. And now it's added the show here. And obviously you can move things around here if you want to change the order. So one of the great things about this is you can go here at the bottom to templates and you can set up a template. These are all default templates. I've taken this template and I've just um, changed it. So you can, you'll see if you click on any of these templates, it changes the way the lyrics show. Um, so if you right click on this and you say edit, you can now change the font size. You can decide where you want it to be at the top or in the middle. Um, if you want to make the font bigger, you can. So what I like to do is I also change, uh, set it to make all the letters uppercase. And I've also put like a black background behind the text, which you can also take away. And now you can literally just, if we go back to our lyrics, um, go back here to show. You'll see if I go here and I go to template, it will change the font and here as well. So that quickly sort you out on that. If you want to have a background behind it, let's say you don't have a live camera feed or a green uh, chroma key kind of situation, you can literally just go here to media, go to your videos, and I've got a little folder here with some, some backgrounds. And you can, we can just go back here, you can just drag this video background, or it can be a photo as well, and it will add it to all the lyrics. Very nice, and then the, you can do the same for the second song, you can decide, let's see, you want to do a different one. And just add it there. I see the way it works is if you add it to the first slide, it will add it to all the slides. And then that's your lyrics sorted. Now, what's great about uh, like something, for instance, something like the pre-service loop video. 
I can also play that from here. So I can go back and say I'm going to do a new a new show. So I can go here to new shows and say you, you're actually supposed to be able to, to right click here, but I think there's a, an issue of the Mac version currently that I want to right click there. So I'm just going to go back to shows, new show. And this time I'm not going to create a song, I'm going to choose presentations, or you can even say the category is not applicable. And I'm going to go pre service video, just give it a name. And I'm just going to add it as an, an empty show. Okay, so we. We've got it here, and now I can go back to my video, to my media box here, and I can go and add um, the pre-service video that we created, this one here, I'm just going to move it in there, okay, great, and as soon as I click on it, it plays it. So this is a little preview of what plays on your on your second screen. So, um, and then you can decide if you need audio of that. In our case, we do. And you can now do the same. So what you can do is inside here, you can now also create a new section for uh, scriptures so it just creates a little placeholder and you can here you can then decide to create a new category or just a new show. I would actually just go new show here and I would go sermon scriptures and I will change this to presentations and make it empty show. Okay, so that scriptures there is just a little placeholder to make things a little bit. We could even even do it here as well. Is to say pre-service. And I believe we can just move these things up and down, yes. So it's just to, to organize things a little bit better. Then under scriptures, you will simply just, I don't think I've got any of the scriptures here, but you can literally just get the scripture um, JPEG or PNG files and you will just move them in here and you will click on them to, um, to play them. Okay, so that's that. And then what's very cool is if you go to the calendar here, you can then schedule this pre-service video to start at a specific time. So I can let you just go here on the Sunday and I can say new event. And I can say I want this to start playing at exactly 10 past 8. And you can repeat it every week. You know, for a month, for however long. And then a start action, you say start a show. And now you can choose the show, which is the pre-service video. And you can save it. And you will see the timer is is going down. We can quickly test it here. So I'm just going to create a, an event here as well. And we'll do it for 1530 in, um, in two minutes time. I'm not going to repeat it. Just going to say start show and select the pre-service video and save. And now you'll see it's going to start in less than a minute. So this way you don't have to worry about starting the video at exactly the right time. I'm going to carry on. I think it will, it will just automatically play that. We'll just um, stay here on a, on a lyric for now. And yeah, what's something else that's pretty cool is if you quickly need to just play a scripture, um, you can literally just quickly choose it here and if you double click it it will 
display that scripture. I see it actually uses the same background. Uh, you can, you'll see here, okay, you can see it, it's telling us that the video is going to start in the next 10, 10 seconds. Yeah, you'll see here, you can decide here what you want to clear and play. Automatically started. Yeah, so I think that's sort of the basics of free show. It's been pretty great. Uh, it's amazing to think that this, this is free of charge. And that's just a general overview of how this works.